Like, where does drip come from, man? Because I see you <laughs> leaving the stain everywhere you go, man. Man, hey, I just, I just be trying to put some shit on that I don't typically see people in. Right. Let, let's touch on that, man. Because you do design your own clothes, man. I see you all over IG. Yeah, man. I just be. <laughs> I be they still in the struggle, flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down, man? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we rocked it with a special guest, man. Thanks for coming to the show, man. Hey, man introduce yourself, man. Oh, man, party at four from the mill, man. Feeling great, enjoying life, you know what I mean? I'm glad you threw the four up too. That's crazy because oh, the four. Yeah. Like, so we're party of four. Where, 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 where did the name derive from? Um, so shit, I lived in Minnesota for like three or four years, and my guy C Flow. Um, shout out to him. Uh, we, I, well, I was putting out a little four song mixtape and didn't have a title, so he was like, um, shit, we always up kicking it, party and recording and shit at this hour. Just call it party at four. So um, we went with that, and then when I moved back to the middle, my manager hit me one day. And um, my name was XBO Keys, uh, cause we had a group, but we still got the group, you know what I'm saying, respectfully. But, um, and then uh, he had hit me like, yo, you're the only Google result for Party at Four, and XBO has plenty of stuff tied to it, like other groups and whatnot. So he was like, we might as well go with this. So shit, it just stuck. Man. Hashtag marketing, I like it. it you, you sure it has nothing to do with Party at 414, like nothing. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> so that's, I mean, we're Yeah, it's a play on it. The four for sure. Yeah, facts, I fucks with it, man. So let's talk about the drip, man. So, like, where does drip come from, man? Because I see you <laughs> leaving the stain everywhere you go, man. Man, hey, I just, I just be trying to put some shit on that I don't typically see people in. Right. Let, let's touch on that, man, because you do design your own clothes, man. I see you all over IG. Yeah, man. I just be, I be trying to express with the clothes. And um, I got a sewing machine not long ago, so I've been trying to extort that motherfucker. Is this all hand talk? I me mean, all like talk, self talk, or is yeah, it like? Yeah, with, with the making clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I watched a YouTube video on how to like thread my sewing machine and shit. After that, I just kind of rocked out. YouTube University, man. I fucks yeah, with it, man. man. Jack, on, man, you ain't never gonna be broke, man. I fucks with it, man. So let's let's touch on these accolades, man, because you number thirty two on the Billboard, man. Congratulations on that. Let me touch the hands of a God first, man. You feel me? But like, how how does it feel, man? Like you the first Milwaukee artist to be on the billboard in years man like i feel it's crazy uh just to have the support and stuff for the people around the world and stuff like that is real real heartwarming like I feel real crazy to like put in the words and whatnot but um i'm glad the city getting a spotlight on it man because shit hella talented motherfuckers from here like singers painters producers everybody so shit about time a little floodgate open up Facts, facts, man. Speaking of spotlights, man, we got a new segment of the show where we giving artists a spotlight, man. So our artist of the month goes to Protege, man. Y'all stay tuned. We be back. The Best TV's new segment called You're the Best is where we recognize hardworking entrepreneurs every month. This month, we present Artist of the Month to Protege. Protege has been 98.3's Mic Check Artist of the Month. He's been a featured artist with Milwaukee Bucks. He's done a Pride Fest performance, has been recognized as a Making It Mag multiple winner, a new Music Monday winner. Protégé has partnered with Kessler's Diamond as a model. He's had seven songs in radio rotation with a Dear Father's public feature, as well as a Bronzeville Fest performance and more. Go check out his video, Love, on YouTube, directed by Philly Flyboy. If you'd like to be recognized as Entrepreneur of the Month, please submit your accolades to 414liftoff at gmail.com. Again, congratulations, protege. You are the best. Yo, yo, man, yeah, shout out Protege, man You been doing your little dance, man You been all over the place, all over the, all over the radio and everything, man So we back with Party at Four, just in case y'all still just now tuning in, man From Milwaukee, man So Milwaukee where, bro? Like, what street, man? You gotta... <laughs> shit, I don't even do all the... You know, all that shit, shit. I feel you, because I, I do that Capitol, Brown Deer, shit Mill Road Lived in Harbor Point for a minute. Ooh, shit, I was all over the place. Facts, facts, man. Milwaukee ain't that big. So uh, you moved from Milwaukee. Where did you move to? Um, Originally to Minnesota. Um, Now I live in Atlanta, though. Yeah. 
Man, number 32 on the billboard in Atlanta, man. Listen, man, how Atlanta treat you, man? Oh, it's cool down there, man. Um, I just be running into, like, a different variety of people that, like, you know, in my opinion, I'm real, like, stay in the crib, preserve the creativity and life. You know what I mean? So, um, but, you know, when you step out down here, like, you'll bump into some people and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, network. But in Atlanta, it's just a whole different type of time, like, you were running the super producers, shit, newscasters, videographers, shit, people, managers, all type of shit. Exactly. Um, you bump into some producers there, like, give some producer shout outs, man. Like oh, yeah, first and foremost, <laughs> man, shout out my nigga Needles, man. Shout out my nigga Relly, man. Shout out Drell. Shout out Timmy the Hit, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my engineer Nino too. It's my boy right there. Hey Needles, that's a beastie ass name for a producer. Right. Wow, a beastie ass cat too. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening. Shout out Needles, man. Let's tap in. Oh, but uh, sorry, you get in the studio. Let's touch on your on your writing style, man. Mm -hmm. When you get in the studio, man, you a punch in type of rapper artist. You, nah, you, you I don't all too much punch in, man. Uh uh, nah. So like, I write pretty much all my material because. For me, I like the I like words and shit. Like I'm real tedious with the English language, so I like to write mine. I feel like it just be more concise and it be more on like premise. I don't too much like write whole songs about one topic because absolutely I'm, I'm having too much to say. But um, yeah, I write my shit. I I mean, when I'm rapping, I like to one take the whole shit. Like if I can get my intro off, my my hook, my verse, my hook, my verse then it's going to be one audio file. But if, if I'm like jumping around or whatever and I need like space, then I do like 12, pause, let me hear that back. That's cool. Come in, do 24. Yeah, whatever. yeah. But I don't know, man. I, it, it be, it's it be, very rare, man. Not to cut you off, it's I very know. rare to find a one take Jake, man. Then you sing it too, be, man. Cut us heavy on that. Woo Historically, yeah, yeah, respectfully, yeah. It's it just the breathing and um, shit. I take this shit real serious. Hold on, man. You better talk to these artists, man. <laughs> yeah, nigga got to breathe first and then shit second. It ain't nothing wrong with punching in. You know no, no, ain't nothing wrong with it. I was just going to say that, yeah. Me, that's that's a lot of time, bro. Yeah. Like, son of a da, hey, punch that in. To punch back in. Like, I don't got time for that. Bro. Right, right. I got a lot to say, bro. And the engineer respectfully ain't got time for that neither. Yeah, <laughs> I engineer, I'll be over there like, man. You be see, you can see the board of your engineer when you messing up. You be like, oh yeah, man, I'm messing up the flow. Get arthritis and shit, like yeah. <laughs> I, as far as like writing style, like I don't, I, I be trying to explain, but it, I don't know, cause like I write about whatever, like I go, go through some shit with a female and write about that or see some shit that a, a couple went through on TV or in a movie and take an aspect and I don't know, like, it's just fun, bro. Like, yeah, facts. Whatever I feel like writing about or. And let's touch on that hit song to the moon, man. So, like, what inspired that? What inspired those lyrics, man? Um, to the moon was just a fun day, conceptually. Um, we just wanted to do something shit different, like you know, nigga then took a bitch to Miami, then took her to Papa Do's, all of that. Nah, I ain't took her to the moon Take yet. To the moon. <laughs> I'm <buzzing> yeah. that. <laughs> Take her straight to the moon. You hear me, man? Fact. So, um. We talked about the, the the thirty number thirty two on the Billboard, man. So, like, where you see yourself in the next five years, man? Um, me personally, uh, other business ventures and things like that. Um, I've been doing music my whole life, so I'm not probably never gonna stop doing that in some form or capacity, regardless. So, I'm I'm probably probably kind of leaning towards like you know acquiring an apartment complex or like a, a restaurant or something like franchising something like that's what i want to do like maybe an app or something like i'm real i'm not gonna say i'm real big on technology like i code and shit but i fuck with the technology like shit, I'm, I'm trying to do something and it got to be something to give back to but shit i'm trying to have a grammy and all that shit in five years so right. shit, i see that happening man because you right to the billboards man she's man that's crazy yeah. all right we got this another new segment in the game and the show where we uh have a segment called words we'll be we'll touch on that right when we get back
for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile. Contact Donnie D. Styles. Located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. Hey, we ask you all to go check out our show with Simone, executive producer of Hollywood Entertainment. She works with nationally known artists of every genre, movies, TV, music, videos, etc. She owns Her Nation Records, which is a record label based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where they specialize in studio, management, full production, promotions, and training for recording artists. Simone is head of Jam Fest, which is the only hip hop festival in the Midwest. Jam Fest works with artists that are voted in by their peers and fans for a chance to perform live in front of a huge crowd. Simone is vice president of Hustler Products, Hustler Magazine's official product line, energy drinks, vapes, hookahs, water, cigars, etc. Simone is also on the marketing team for Best of the Best Entertainment. Please go check out that interview with herself and Sir Quinton. Yo, man, so we back with your boy, Party at Ford, man. 414. Party at Ford, we in a 414, man. Thanks for touching down, man. So we got this new segment sponsored by my girl DJ, man. She go crazy. Y'all make sure y'all go look her up on YouTube, man. She go crazy. She like, man. She was on the show too, man. She like, man, you need a segment. So yeah. here we go, man. We come, we running with it. So the name of this segment is called Words. It's a bunch of words on there. You spin it and you tell me what you think about these words. All right. Sure. So I'm going to let you go ahead and get your Will of Fortune spin on. Oh, we kind of just touched on that. Is that longevity? Spin on it again? Yeah, you spin the block. Yeah, tell me what you think of. Oh man, that's a that's one right there. That's spicy. Are you in a relationship? If you uh, are in a relationship, if you're not, whatever, man. I'm talking for you. Go ahead, do your dance. I'm, I'm married to music right now. Shit. What's your take on relationships? How you feel about them? Um, it ain't even got to be like a love relationship. I any relationship. Like, I feel like depending on what it's applied to, they can either be conducive or shit detrimental. Shit. I mean, I'm not big on like relationships like right now because I'm so focused on music. But um, you want to have good relationships with people like in general. You know what I'm saying like you want to have a good relationship with your friends, your family, your team. Shit, pretty much your landlord, everybody. <laughs> that's yeah. God's say your landlord. Like that's one of the aspects that like you got to put time into. Again, like regardless of who it's with, because shit, a relationship is a bond between you and whomever else you share it with. So you kind of got to be considerate and things of that nature. So. Burbage, burbage. All right, let me get your, you get your three spins, man. Hey, the first one don't count. We talked. No, the first one, one yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Studio. Ooh. Oh shit, that's water right there. <laughs> yeah, that's water. You know what I'm saying? You need that. That's one of my favorite places to be, other than with my kids. Shit. Gotta record. You do so much in the studio, it's OC, but yeah, that's where the magic happens. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. yeah. That's 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 the right. see right You said that's water right you there. there <laughs> Final spin. Let's see where we at with it. Third time the charm. Oh my God! They know I. <laughs> Studio again. Ooh, man. Would you rather have money or happiness? I'm gonna go with happiness, cause I've been trying to get that for a long ass time. And on top of that, shit, money ain't. I don't really take money seriously. Like my closet will show you that. Like I don't really. Facts. Money is just like a conduit to get other shit you need like I'd rather take happiness 
Cause that's that's funny, man. Cause I gotta I gotta jump in on that because normally people they be chasing the money, trying to get the drip and all that. You make your own clothes, yeah. so you just took a whole nother spin. You said my closet and shit. Keep on talking, man. But that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, real shit. Like not to be braggadocious or anything. Like this niggas are way more clothes than I got and all of that. But shit, I don't I don't know. Like I be I be trying to like conceptually grasp like money, like currency, like you know what I mean. But it's just shit. You gonna want happiness cause shit, you fuck around, come and win the lottery or something, become Elon Musk and still be upset internally. Jeez. So money ain't really gonna do nothing for you, but shit. Buy you shit to take away from you not being happy, but you're not really fixing it. You just itemizing. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. That's the end of our word segment, man. Shout out yeah. to Party of Folk, man, with the word segment, man. Like I said, go follow DJ, man. She sponsored the, the idea. Right. Yeah, facts, facts, man. So um all right, so we gon' we gon' I picked your brand enough, man. But uh, I do gotta ask you, how you how you uh bump into Blackout ENT, man? What's y'all how y'all relationship? How that go? Oh, shout out Blackout, man. What yeah, up, KB? Yeah, big shout out to Black, man. <laughs> big shout out Blackout. But shit, that's family right there. I mean, family know him forever, so it was just a no brainer. We link up. Yeah, facts, Bumped facts, man. Day, yeah. All right, man, get your last minute shout outs, man. Like, like I said, I ain't gonna be in your here for long, man. Oh no, it's love up here, man. Uh, shit, shout out Dan. Shout out my boy Black again. Free to go. Um, shout out Unc. Shout out Tony Neal. Ray Styles. Nap. Shit. Sterling. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy. Um, shit. Shout out the podcast for having me. I'm talking about appreciate you. you know what I'm saying. Anytime. Appreciate you, man. Shit. Shout out to the mill, man. Y'all, I mean, focus on that longevity and get your asses in the studio. Fuck you. You just took the word right out of my mouth. I was going to say, man, I wish you longevity. <laughs> man, for real, I was going to say, man, I wish you longevity, man. Keep pushing, man. I would, I would say I wish you millions of dollars, but that shit ain't going to matter to you, man. You already got everything you need right we now, need man. That too now. <laughs> we ain't going to be too You say they don't need no money. You feel me? No, I was fucking with y'all, man. But you already know what time it is, man. We rocking out with Party at Four, man. It's best. your boy, Sir. Quitting, and you already know what time it is. Shh, shut up and hustle. We out. All of my niggas, they still in the struggle. Flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. I tell them, like, Sir, be shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle.